Well, hello, everybody. Thanks for joining us on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. There's the traffic. There it is. Coming out of Gatlinburg. And it's always a lot of traffic. Thank you for joining us today on Vacation Station TV, your virtual getaway. And today, uh, I'm going to do two things. <clears throat> You'll only see the first one we're doing right now. I'm heading to Gatlinburg, just like I said. Turn this this way, okay, and I'll say hello. So how was your weekend? Going good so far, everything? I hope so. It's crazy, but you can't believe all the people that were up here, and there wasn't much going on. I mean, I know of no real events that are going on, but the people are definitely here. So I want to show them to you, so... Stick around, don't go anywhere, and the next video, that's going to be completely different. I want to bring you variety, okay? Just because I like variety, and I think you do too. I think you're tired of the same old, same old. How many restaurants can you go to 100 times and tell you, tell you people it's the best restaurant I've ever been to? This is the best mac and cheese I've ever had. It's mac and cheese. What is wrong with you? Macaroni with cheddar cheese. Maybe a couple other cheeses, but for the most part, it's the same crap. And these, all these people, connoisseurs on hush puppies and mac and cheese. <sighs> That's what I say. I'll be back in a moment. Stick around. Okay, so we made it to Gatlin Boy. Made record time. How did you like that? I pushed that big red button and got here in record, record time. So hopefully you had a good weekend. I trust you have. Now a lot of people have been talking about the fall foliage. Or foliage, however you want to say it. Tomato tomato, right? This is now my opinion only, being I live up here. Now I've noticed, and you'll notice it too, a lot of these leaves, they're turning, but a lot of the leaves have already gone brown. And that's due to the heat that we've had here. 90 degrees, it's, 90, it's 89 degrees here, right now in Gatlinburg. And for several days we've had that. And last week we had hot weather. And that's causing the leaves to already shut down. So I, uh, I don't know when for sure the colors are going to be at their peak. And I know a lot of you plan on coming up here to see the fall foliage, to partake of that, because it is beautiful. It's breathtaking in some places. Now other places, like I was talking to Rob and Denise, and they said up in their neck of the woods, uh, coming down, the leaves were really colorful. And that's good. But here, it's been so hot, the leaves are starting, especially the cabin, they're turning brown. They're falling off the trees already. So that's not good, in my estimation. So I will keep you abreast of what is going on leaf-wise, so you can plan. But personally, I would plan to get up here a little earlier. If you were thinking end of October, beginning of November, I, I wouldn't wait that long. I would not wait that long. I think you're going to be um, slightly not happy. <laughs> I don't know what to tell you because it's... Uh, I can't predict what the weather is going to do. If we get a couple of good cooler days, but that doesn't look like for the rest of the week that's going to happen. Unseasonably warm, 10 degrees hotter than normal. That's not good for the fall foliage. That's what I'm trying to say.
There's Anakista, as you can see. Quite a few people. Quite a few people. Definitely people are in town today and, and I didn't expect it to be that crowded. I really didn't. Normally it's not. I was debating even coming up, but I'm glad I did come up. I really did. I would say in the next uh, week or so, you're going to start seeing the fall stuff coming up, all the decoration. I see some of the corn stalks here and there, but they'll start really decorating for the holidays very shortly. And they do a great job here at Gatlinburg. They really do. My goodness. You feel the, the holiday spirit across the town. And other places too, as in, in Pigeon Forge and Sevierville. But Gatlinburg is known for this.
Oh, I missed that call. words concerning uh, when I take Miss Marie out and showing her all these unseen places. She is funny, isn't she? And that, there's no scripting going on there. No, that's just Miss Marie being Miss Marie. And I, I'm sure you've noticed that in Gatlinburg, Pigeon Forge, Spearville, they keep the town spotless. You go to other towns around the U.S. and it looks like it's a ghetto. Basically, it's a ghetto. And ghetto is ghetto. You know, you, you are where you live. And if you don't take care of it, it's going to look like crap. Not here. They take such good care. And they come out real early in the morning and they sweep and wash the streets. I mean, they really take good care of this place. And I, I tip my hat to them. If I had a hat on, I would tip it. But I'm telling you, they do a really good job of taking care of this place. And I hear people say that, oh, it's so clean here. It's, uh, it's just, everything's neat and orderly. Yeah, that's right, everything is neat and orderly. And we plan to keep it that way. Convention Center is right there on your right. Welcome Flavored Women, okay. 2024, September 20th through the 22nd. Plenty of photo ops in downtown. Take advantage of them if you wish. They're always fun.
Oh, I can smell that Fanny Farkles. Oh, that's so good. Oh, smell the sausage and peppers and the corn dogs. Oh, 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 oh. I want ten of them. I want ten of them, please. So remember, if you like these videos, especially when I go through Gatlinburg, and I haven't done this in, what, a couple of weeks? I think so. Uh, let me know. Like, comment, subscribe. If you like the unseen stuff, uh, you got to watch it. you got to watch it more, all right? Gotta, I, I like the fact you're all watching, but I'd like to see more people watching because no one else is doing this. No one else. You get the same old, oh, let's go to Dollywood. Oh, let's go to Anakista. Let's go do gas station pizza. Let's let's go eat, 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 eat. If that's what you want, go to another channel. All right? It's not what we do. We truly entertain you and edutain you. Educate and entertain. That's my goal. That's my job. And it's funny how some people go, I don't like the music. I like the music. I love the music. I wish you wouldn't do music. It's like, I can't please you all, but I'll try to do my best. <laughs> Everybody's a critic. There's the parking garage, three floors that are covered, one floor that is at the top that's not covered, over 350 spaces, it's $10 a day all day. There are two of those locations, one by the aquarium, one right here. $10 a day, all day, secure, out of the weather, out of the heat, and I suggest you go there. Whenever I use one, I use this one, always.